Hey everybody, AmpreparGuy.com. There's my phone number and my website. So today we have a Yaesu FL2100B here. Pretty clean inside. So off the bat, I noticed that strap from the output network was disconnected from the rotary switch, you know, the band switch. Contacts look good. It is clean and with deoxy gold. Turn it on. My voltage comes up. You never want to turn it on with this cover off because this puts a short across the plate. That's a high voltage crowbar switch right there. So I have the cover on, fired it up, relay engages, high voltage, all that works. So I did it with the tubes out. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the parasitic suppressor resistors. Someone replaced the plate blocker at some point. I'm going to put in a new high energy corp one. Um, as you can see, it's loose. That's no good. But uh, these always end up failing. So I always swap that out to the resistors, to the grid loading resistors, compress the clips, I'll change the mica caps also on the grid pin, one per tube socket to ground. I'll clean the input rotary switch with deoxy gold. Someone I can see screwed around with that nut right there. I'll look over all that, see what that's about. So, hey, I'm going to get to work and I'll be back when it's all done. I'll show you everything I did. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back with the completed amp. So, we needed a new set of tubes. Customer had a new set of Pentalab tubes that he had purchased. So, put those in. Awesome company, phenomenal customer service, just great people over there. Can't say enough good stuff about them over there. Cool, cool people. So, new parasitic suppressor resistors. They're 22 ohm, 2 watt Allen Bradley Karma Comps. New plate blocking capacitor. Someone changed the original out for another one that looks similar to the original, but the ceramic body wasn't as thick. So, pulled that out, put in a brand new brand new one in, new ceramic style, so high energy corp, 1000 puff, 5 kV. I resoldered the strap from the tank coil over to the rotary switch. Air variables look good, plates are nice and clean. Crowbar circuit resistor looks good, a lot of times people will take the cover off with the amplifier on and they blow the resistor up down there so it's meant to stop the person from getting electrocuted puts a dead short on the plate supply you never ever want to take this cover off with it plugged in and on you know this saves your life right here helps save your life but just don't do that so ended up changing the grid loading resistors so I put two brand new 33 ohm 2 watt Allen Bradley Karma Comp resistors in I kept the lead lengths as short as possible changed the mica cap from the grid connection to ground one per tube socket I compressed the clips on the sockets and then I put some deoxy gold on the pins of the tubes and I slid the tubes in and out to clean the inner surface of the clips because you don't ever want to lose the connection or have a poor connection between the grid pin and the grid clips on the socket because you only have one pin that's connected to the grid per socket you know, you know, so each tube only has one active grid connection so you want to make sure the clips are making a nice solid connection to the pin very very important so I temporarily shorted the these two terminals here so I can manually key it and unkey it with the switch on the front and it comes off before it goes back. So if you need any amplifier repaired please feel free to give me a call. There's my phone number and my website. I also checked the SO239 connectors. I always do that and this had a 30 amp fuse in it so took that out and put the proper size in. So, thanks for watching and have a great day. AmpRepairGuy.com 203-892-4119. Take care.